What's up guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Tuesday. I apologize, this video was supposed to come out yesterday, but there was an issue in the upload and I had to re-record it. Anyways, what we're talking about today is a really cool topic and it has to do with the DCEU Robin. And I should say the fate of DCEU Robin because we got a tease in Batman v Superman, but the costume designer recently came out and reveal to us what really happened. And we're gonna speculate on the direction Zack Snyder may go in his version of the Justice League, because we do know that Joker will be involved there. And uh, uh, we're gonna really uh, get into some theories towards the end of this video. Anyways, let's get into what happened, right? So this might, this is, you might have heard already, this news is maybe a couple days old now, but let's, I wanted to let you guys know my thoughts. So I'm on Heroic Hollywood that kind of sums it up. It says, Batman v Superman designer reveals how Zack Snyder's Robin died. Now, funny enough, we're learning this via Instagram of the costume designer, Douglas J. Stewart, but this post is actually deleted uh, at this point. If you go onto his Instagram, it's actually deleted, but I do have it up uh, for you guys. I'll show you in a second, but let's just go ahead and read, read a little quick summary. Costume designer, Douglas J. Stewart, took to Instagram to explain what went into the process of making the Robin costume, which was on display in Bruce Wayne's Batcave during the Zack Snyder film, and also re revealed they had to create a very specific look for the suit since Joker had brutally murdered Robin before setting him on fire. Um, so, pretty insane, right? So, we're going to go into his post right here and then go into and show you based on what he posted on his Instagram page, what that suit actually looked like before it got burned. So here's his post that is now deleted. He says, a bit of detail on Robin's gauntlet. He was brutally murdered and then set ablaze by the Joker. The story had to be told in, in the sal uh, salvaged costume on display inside the Batcave, aging and specifically distressing needs to tell the inscripted uh, tales that supported the main framework of the film. Here, uh, we had to create a Robin suit in a matter of days using what we had and then figure out what we had to modify it as well as building the support of interior. It was a lot of fun. So you can see the damage on Robin's gauntlet. I'm not sure why he actually deleted it uh, off of his Instagram page because, you know, you know, it obviously generated a lot of talk amongst the fan base. And uh, it just, first of all, he had to create the story just in the look of the suit. So the look of the suit had to tell the story. And when you actually look at this, you could tell that, yes, and when you, especially outside of the writing that the Joker put on, man, it looks like it was a, it's a charred suit because um, I dug into his Instagram a little bit more and he said that the suit was a traditional Robin suit and um, he was responding to someone else's comments. But this is the outcome of it. It's burnt, it's charred up, and man, Joker probably beating him with a crowbar and also setting him ablaze, absolutely insane. There's actually, there's actually people speculating now, um, uh, I have it right here on Vero, um, Shay Lunsdale um, speculated that um, he was probably beat and set ablaze in Wayne Manor. That's why Wayne Manor looks like it does in uh, BVS. And that makes all the sense in the world. Um, and Zack Snyder actually likes this post on Vero. So pretty cool. Um, so that's a pretty cool detail right there. Uh, but anyways, let's go on to Agent Brown's page. Look, uh, Agent Brown is his Instagram name and uh, Douglas J. Stewart is the costume uh, designer. So uh, there's him posing with the bath suit right there. Um, and let's go on to the image that he posted right here, he said, Robin started with a cannibalized stunt bat suit, snipped, nipped, trimmed, and tucked. A Robin suit was in there, uh, wrapped on a special fiberglass form to enhance his anatomy. Now, this is a dope looking suit in the vein of BVS bat suit. And you do know, if you have followed this closely, that BVS's bat suit is different from Justice League bat suit. And it actually looks a little bit more menacing and awesome. And I really, really dig this Robin suit because it is it, it, it falls in line with uh, what Ben Affleck was wearing, and it looks so cool. I, to be honest, you guys know I'm into, you know, I make my own suits for uh, big, like, little vents and stuff. I'm not a serious cosplayer or anything like that, but this is something I feel like I want to make and, 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 and put, uh, put out into one of our events and, and wear for Halloween or something. This is a dope suit, um, just like Ben Affleck's bat suit is a dope suit. Um, especially from the same designers as the BVS designers. So pretty cool to learn this information right here. And it just goes to show you how much, um, how much work these costume designers actually put into it. They're actually storytellers as well. And they tell their stories um, in their work here. 
a little bit different than, uh, you know, movie making, but it is all a part of the process. And I appreciate people like this who put in all the detail. So you can follow him right there if you want. Uh, Agent Brown one is his uh, is his handle. But I want to go ahead and get into a little bit of speculation into what we might get out of Justice League. And um, we do know that Zack Snyder has revealed to us who uh, the Robin in this suit was. It wasn't Jason Todd, right? It was actually uh, Dick Grayson. He said it in Vero posts in the past. Uh, he's alluded to the fact that his was going to be different. You know, people who assumed it was Jason Todd, you know, I think he had one post on Vero, he even commented in, what makes you think it was uh, Jason? And then he's even flat out said it was Richard. Um, or Dick Grayson in, uh, in other Vero posts. So we know that his version of Robin would have been different. In Suicide Squad, I think they retconned that and said that Jason Todd had died. But I think in Zack Snyder's version, or it's pretty clear that he was this Robin who died was supposed to be Dick Grayson. Now, I got a question for you guys. Are you guys cool with that? Are, are, do you, are you guys a fan of that? And I mean, obviously, I'm a big supporter of Zack Snyder on this channel. I'm going to support him for whatever he does, and I'm going to go ahead and take whatever work we get and judge it by that, just his work. Uh, but uh, to be honest, i got to say, I would have preferred it if uh, we got to see Dick Grayson be alive. I would have preferred to see Chris McKay direct the Nightwing movie as planned originally. It sucks we're not going to get that. Um, but, uh, you know, funny enough, Agent Brown, who we were just talking about on his Instagram page, he uh, commented, I think it was on this one, he commented that uh, he speculates that, um, I can't find it now, um, he speculated uh, that he thinks that it's going to be revealed in Zack Snyder's uh, Snyder Cut that uh, it's going to actually be Jason Todd. He thinks that we're going to get uh, get that re revelation. And why would we get that revelation? Because we know Jared Leto Joker is coming back to shoot additional photography. Maybe we're going to get a uh, little bit of context into what's made Batman Batman becomes so jaded in BVS. That would make all the sense in the world. That would be so cool. Um, it could be cool if he, they just do a nightmare scene sequence too. Either way, I'd be happy. But it would be cool. It would be really cool to see what happened uh, to Jason Todd. Um, will Zack Snyder stick to his guns and uh, make sure it's Dick Grayson? Uh, probably, most likely. But I, I'm, I have a question to you guys who are watching out there. How many of you out there would prefer him change it up and make sure it is, it is uh, Jason Todd as it was in the comics that was beaten by the Joker and killed? Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys would prefer that. Anyways, Zack Snyder, he's the man. He's going to do his, his, his own vision, and I'm going to be there for it. I'm going to be supporting it, and I can't wait to see it. Um, but I just wanted to shed some light on you guys uh, about this new information we got on Robin. I thought it was pretty cool and exciting to talk about. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate it. Catch you guys later. Peace.